Hello my loves, hope you've all been well. A little disclaimer, I have a cold, so please excuse my voice if it sounds off. I know I missed last week's post, but your girl just got so swamped and decided to take it easy. Good thing though is that we are here now with this beautiful number that I got from Toy Market as usual. The print texture and elasticity was what drew me to it and I couldn't be happier because of the versatility and I opted to do one of the simplest transformations. which is this beautiful hot number, which makes me so happy because it can be worn in a number of different ways. So if you'd like to see how all this came about, then just keep watching. To begin, I placed the dress on fold and winged out the measurement at an angle along 16 inches and cut out my top. I have a video on crop tops which is linked below. I took the bottom piece and cut out one side. I used one of my skirts and traced out the pattern. I then took the remaining pieces and cut out four two inch strips. I proceeded to stitch the skirt pattern sides using stretch stitches because of the type of fabric. I then did the hemming. Then I took two of the two inch strips and folded the sides inwards like so, then sew the open sides down for my straw strips. Next I took the other two strips and stitched the sides then inverted it. I then marked the middle section of the front skirt pattern and pinned the strip to it, being keen on maintaining the center. I then stitched this at the center first and then at the edge of the strip sides like so.
I then used the safety pin and drew the straw strips into the loop of the strip we sew on the skirt and secured it at the top. I did the same for the other loop. Next, I drew the gathers up to my liking and tried it on, then marked where I'd want the gathered effect to stop and pinned it down, then did a securing stitch. done with a skirt here. I took the top and stretched out the bottom edge. This prevents it from running and if you check out my DIY for crop tops, I mentioned just how much I love my crop tops rugged and the fact that this was oversized made it perfect and I didn't need to do any stitching on it. So with that, I was all done. Here's a final look which I think is quite sexy and although initially I'd planned to have the draw upside at the center, I felt it looked way better on the side but then again this only makes me love it more because I can wear it in those two different ways on different occasions. Let me know your thoughts and until the next one, bye my loves.